I really think, frankly, that the piano does offer a great many resources which are entirely appropriate vis-a-vis -vis the music of Bach, and that it also offers some that are entirely inappropriate. So it really becomes a question of, um, I was going to say, using those things that enhance the music, but that's a bad word, of using those things, adopting those things, which really work within the parameters that the music itself observes. I think that's the safer way of putting it, probably. Well, well of course, there are two really contrasting arguments uh, which are put forth very frequently. One is that uh, if Bach had had a piano, he would certainly have used a piano. I'm sure he would have. He was a very practical man in, in most ways, as we know. And a few years before he died, when he saw a, um, what was it called, a Silberman mm -hmm. piano at, at Frederick the Great's court when he visited there, uh, he seems to have had very nice things to say about it. So he probably would have used it. But I think it's not a terribly relevant argument one way or the other, because whatever he saw at Frederick's court was such a totally different beast from what we know today, you know, that it doesn't really stand comparison. Okay, but the, the other argument, of course, is that he really didn't know the piano, notwithstanding his visit to Frederick's court, and that um, he didn't think in terms of its capabilities, uh, that he couldn't have imagined the kind of instrument that it would become two centuries later, and that consequently whenever one does play this music on something other than the instruments that he knew, you know, the harpsichord mm -hmm. or the clavichord, mm -hmm. one is in some way, I would say, violating the music, uh, is not allowing to, de to, well, to declare itself, to, to to speak within the limits of the sonority that Bach had imagined. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that is the other argument. <laughs> I think that's where the proposition goes off the rails, if I may say so, Bruno, because if one really believes that, then it surely follows that one also believes that Bach, you know, cared deeply about the specifics of sonority and of timbre as an element of composition. Uh, that in effect he was almost a slave to the instruments which he wrote and I just don't think that's the way it was with Bach 